Looking to make a ton of money with your first flip, but the hard money lender needs a down payment and you just don't have it? Are you wanting to flip a house and you have all of the money or the mortgage, but you don't have the down payment? Well, don't worry, you've come to the right place. I have flipped tons of houses and I've helped lots of students come up with the down payment and I'm gonna share with you my biggest secrets on how you get that done. Let's go. Noel. Yeah, she can fix that. If you gotta get it done, no, you need to do it better. Well, she can fix that. Yeah, she can fix that. Investment to get back, trying to get a big step. She can fix that. Let's fix that. I'm gonna share with you a simple step by step process on how to get a hard money loan and find the down payment that you need. I'm gonna share with you the biggest secret that I've learned on how to get at least $10,000 in a matter of days, not months. I'm gonna share with you the craziest thing that I learned from one of my students and how they got $100,000 and they didn't even have great credit. Fixing and flipping is one of the best things that you can do in real estate because it is an active process to getting money in real estate. One of the things that we do with fixing and flipping is we find a house that's undervalued, a house that needs repairs, for example, or property that we can get at a discount. We then renovate that property, we fix it up, we put new countertops, new carpet, new paints, things like that, and then we sell it for a profit. So it's an easy process in real estate that we call forced appreciation. And that is where we force the appreciation by doing renovations and increasing the value of the property. As we already know, real estate appreciates over time. It's one of the best things about real estate and why I love real estate, because it turned me into a millionaire. It goes up over time. One of the things with real estate that we absolutely love is that you can just buy a property and even if you don't do anything with it, over time it's probably going to go up in value so long as the property is just maintained, as long as you don't just let it deteriorate, it most likely will go up in value over time just because that's what real estate does. But the great thing about fixing and flipping is that you literally can force that appreciation by putting in things into the house that make it worth more money and then you can sell it right away. You don't have to hold the property for years after years in order to get that appreciation and all of that equity so I love fixing and flipping and on average people make about $65,000 in profit fixing houses so I absolutely love fixing flips it's one of the best things that you can do in real estate but it is one of the more riskier things so let me tell you how you get the money so that you can lower the amount of risks that you are taking so getting finance for a fixing flip is really complicated but it's not most people have no idea about hard money lenders. These are lenders that will lend on properties that are not in good condition and they will lend you the money to buy the home and to renovate the property and they will carry the mortgage while you are selling it. It's an amazing loan specifically for investors, but in many cases you will have to put in some of your own money. In some cases you do not. If you find a property where it's discounted enough and with the renovations you have enough equity in it, in some cases you don't have to put down any money whatsoever. But in some cases you have to put in 10% into the deal because that's what hard money lenders want to see, especially if it's your first or second flip. After a while, once you get experience flipping houses, they will lower some of the requirements and you will be able to flip houses without necessarily having to go to put down a down payment. So when it comes to getting approved for a fix and flip loan, in many cases you will get approved as your own business. They don't usually like lending to individuals. So in many cases you will create a business entity, either an LLC, a C Corp or an S Corp. And the great thing about it is because you put it in your business's name and this is a business to business transaction, you can easily use a business checking account in order to get funded. And this is where it opens up a ton of opportunities for you to get even more funding. If you have a business checking account, for example, even with just like North One Bank, for example, this is a business checking account that you can get set up in less than three minutes and it ties to QuickBooks, PayPal, Stripe, and many other things that you can integrate it with. Additionally, once you have this going for three months, hard money lenders will ask for three months worth of business checking account statements. And if you create an account with North One, which again, you can get started over the internet and you can do in less than three minutes, you will easily have those three months worth of business checking account statements in order to submit over to that hard money lender and get approved. It's an amazing thing to do. And again, you can get set up with a business checking account and get opportunities to not only get hard money loans, but you can get all different types of business funding 
with a business checking account. So make sure that you do that. Once you have your business entity set up and you have three months worth of business checking account statements, you will usually be able to get approved for a hard money loan. Yes, you will need an EIN, maybe even a website, but all of the hard money lenders do not require this. They really just require that you have the EIN, the business checking account statements, and the business be registered with the Secretary of State. But if you want to get other funding besides the hard money loan, you absolutely can. So one of the amazing things with fixing and flipping is that you can borrow money from multiple places. And yes, you even can borrow the down payment. So yes, when you find a hard money lender that will lend on your fix and flip and say they require $10,000 for the down payment, well, you can get that money from somewhere else. You do not have to save the money. It does not have to be your own money, but it should be in your business checking account for you to be able to show them the statement. So think about that, for example. If you are thinking about fixing and flipping a home, you wanna start putting together those things so that you have it in advance and you have your business checking account statements so that you can get approved for not only the hard money loan, you can also get approved for a business loan and use that money for your down payment. That's an easy way to borrow 100% of all the money that you will need for your fix and flip. Let me share with you some more ways on how to get that money for the down payment because your options are endless. Another amazing way that you can get the down payment for your flip is by working with the seller. So when I started fixing and flipping homes, I would target people that were having property problems. Like I said, as you should too. In fact, if you need more help with learning how to fix and flip homes, I have an entire playlist where I teach you how to fix and flip homes. Make sure you watch that entire video. But like I said, in those videos, I teach you how to reach out to people that are behind on their mortgage payments or in bankruptcy or foreclosure or some other type of situation where they are willing to get rid of that property and you just take over the mortgage. Well, in many cases, they may even have equity in that property and the seller can go on the fix and flip with you. Many times sellers do not know how to fix and flip and they don't even know all of the opportunities. So you could one, partner with the seller where you do a partnership with them, where you renovate the property and they handle the mortgage. That's one way to do it. Or another way to do it could be subject to where they sell you the property subject to the existing mortgage staying in place, meaning you get the property deeded over to you and you take over those mortgage payments and then you find the money to fix and flip the house. That's an amazing thing that you can do. And then last but not least, you can even partner with an investor. So one of the ways that I did my first successful flip was I partnered with my coach. I found the property for him, he put up the financing, we fix and flipped it together, and then we split the profits 70-30. So with just my 30% of the profits, I got over $17,000, and I didn't have to take any of the risk by getting the hard money loan or coming up with a down payment. My coach did that for me. And then when I got that $17,000, I was able to reinvest it. So the next couple of times, I was able to get enough money to do my own flips. So it really just depends on where you are at the moment, but you definitely can fix and flip houses. You just gotta get more creative and you gotta get you an actual business and don't forget that business checking account. Okay, I have created an entire training just for you. Go to noellsfreetraining.com where I've created a complete training, almost an hour long, where I teach you my exact formula for investing in real estate without using your money or credit. You gotta take advantage of this full training because I will not be able to leave it up very long. Go to noellsfreetraining.com and get your full training today. That's Noel, N-O-E-L-L-E -L -L -E, with an S, noellsfreetraining.com. I just want to make sure that you have all of the resources, all of the tools, and all of the knowledge that you need to be successful. This is Noelle, to your success.